Hey guys, it's Eric here from VidCat Creative, and today I'm going to show you how to connect Flowdesk email marketing with your Squarespace website. Flowdesk is an email marketing service that is built for creators by creators. It's a really intuitive platform that allows you to create beautiful template based emails. And it's a very powerful tool that you can use as a creative or entrepreneur to up level your email marketing strategy and design. And as lovers of good design and strong protesters of ugly emails, we're obsessed with Flowdesk and have been using it since it was first released. We also love that it's really affordable for small businesses and doesn't have a tiered pricing system, meaning that you have a fixed price for your plan, unlike other email marketing providers where you have to pay more when you get more subscribers, which is not a very good incentive to grow your list. Unfortunately, Flowdesk doesn't integrate natively with Squarespace, most email providers don't, to be honest, but luckily it's very easy to connect. And before you get into it, I just want to say if you want to give Flutterstick a go, make sure to sign up with our special link below this video and you'll get 50% off your first year. Anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so the first thing you'll want to do is log into your Flutterstick account, of course, and we're going to come over to the Forms tab. And for this one, we're going to embed a form into our site. So what we want to do is create a new form. And this one will be called inline. So it's not a full page, it's not a pop-up, we're gonna actually embed it within a page on our site. You have a few different versions to choose from here, but you can make all of these customizations no matter which one you choose, so it doesn't really matter. But let's go ahead and choose this one. This is kind of fun. Now in Flowdesk, you do need to choose a segment before you set your form up. So make sure you have that ready to go. For me, these people will be going into my welcome sequence segment but this totally depends on what you're setting up. Okay, so here is our form. Essentially, you just click anywhere to get started editing. Um, this is completely customizable, so it's really cool. You can do a ton with this, um, and it just depends where you click. So if you click on the background, you're gonna get all of the different variations for the background, and you can also change the size. You can turn preferences on and off. You can update if you want the image on mobile. You can update the message for the post submitting. And then if you actually click on the image, you can upload your image here, the text, the fields, there's all sorts you can edit. So customize the form however you want to, and I'll show you how to embed it to Squarespace. So I'm just gonna leave mine like this because we're not here for a Flowdesk tutorial. We just wanna embed it into Squarespace. So I'm gonna click next as if I'm done. I'm just going to skip through these settings You'll want to just set up whatever you need to set up there. And you'll be taken to a set of two different codes. One's a header code and one's an inline code. So if we head back to Squarespace, we're going to click on settings, scroll down and click advanced, and then click code injection. So the code injection is only for premium plans. So if you do only have a personal Squarespace plan, you won't be able to use this method. I recommend skipping forward to the very end where we talk about linking full page Flowdesk forms because that's the only option where you don't need to use advanced code injection. So head back to our codes and we're going to copy the header code. And back on our Squarespace site, we're going to paste the header code in under where it says header code injection. So paste in there and click save. Then we're gonna go back into the Flowdesk and we're gonna copy the inline code. So this code is your actual form. And so wherever we put this is where the form is going to display. So I'm gonna put mine in my footer. I'm gonna scroll down to the very bottom of my page, click edit. Then I'm gonna click edit footer and I'm gonna put it at the very bottom. So I'm gonna click the plus to add a new block. And you can essentially do this anywhere around your site. And I'm gonna look for the code block. So I'm gonna add a code block, remove the code that's in there and paste in your new code. So you probably won't be able to see it in edit mode. It'll say something like script disabled, but I'm gonna go ahead and click save and it should preview when you're out of the editor. So if I scroll down, you'll see there's my form there looking pretty giant and pretty crazy, but you'll just wanna customize it however you need to. And you can customize this block in Squarespace by using the Squarespace settings too. So of course you can actually customize the design within Flowdesk, but then if you wanted to edit the positioning of it on the page, 
you'll just work with this block as your form. So let's say I want to bring in the width. I'm going to change the whole content width of the section. Maybe I want to bring it above the text. Maybe I want to add a spacer to the right side of it. So you can essentially treat this block like it's your form and edit the size and position of it just like you would any other Squarespace block. So this is going to look stupid as well, but it's a good example of how you can move it around. So in this case, I would definitely pop into Flowdesk and reduce the size of everything so it would fit in here. But hopefully that shows you how you can play around with your form. So there are two other ways to add your Flowdesk form to your Squarespace site, either as a pop-up or just a link to a full page form. So it's essentially the same. Again, we're gonna create a new form in Flowdesk and this time we're gonna do pop-up. So I'll just quickly create a new pop-up form and zoom through this. Okay, so you'll notice with the pop-up that you get only one code. So you can either put this in the header area where we put the previous header code, and that's gonna display the pop-up on all of your Squarespace pages. Or you can put this code into individual page header code injections, which is gonna only show the pop-up on those specific pages. So I'll quickly show you how to do that now. Back over in Squarespace, go again to settings, advanced, code injection. So as you can see, I already have the header code from the previous form installed here in the header code area. And this code here is another header code. So this code is essentially exactly the same as the one we entered before, but it does have a little bit extra at the end that's gonna prompt that pop-up. So I'm gonna copy this code and just show you over in Squarespace how different the code is. So if I copy the existing code for the one we just put in earlier, and paste the new code, you'll notice that nothing changed. So all of this section was exactly the same. And there was just this new script at the bottom. So this is the script for the pop-up. And then this is the script that just activates Flowdesk within Squarespace. So I'm telling you this because if you have multiple forms around your site, like if you have a couple of inline forms plus a pop-up, you only need to enter this part once you don't need to have one for your inline form and then another one for your pop-up form. You just need to make sure you have that one main piece that will activate Flowdesk within Squarespace. And then in this case, the second piece is the pop-up form. And in the case of the inline form, like we did before, the code for the inline form is actually within this code block. So each of them have two pieces. But for the pop-up, the second piece is in the same place as the first piece. So having this here within the header advanced code injection means that it will display on every single page of your site. Essentially, this code block here means that anything that you put in it will display on every single page. So that's why Flowdesk has put it in here with the assumption that you want it to display on every single page. So if we save that, our page will refresh and you'll see the pop-up will show when we refresh. If you did want to add it to just individual pages, you can actually just take this second part of the code, copy it and remove it from the header. So now the only thing you're left with in the header is that activation of Flowdesk within Squarespace and the pop-up isn't going to display it anywhere. So if I save that and then go back into my pages panel, and let's say I only want to display the pop-up on this sales page here. What I'm gonna do is click on the cog icon, click on advanced, and I'm gonna paste that Flowdesk form within the advanced code injection area for just this page. Then I'll click save. And when it reloads, the pop-up should pop up. And we'll just test that by going to the home page and we shouldn't see the Flowdesk form pop up on the homepage. So they don't make this super obvious within Flowdesk. I wish they would separate the header code out from the actual pop-up code so it was more obvious which goes where, but you'll just need to break it up yourself. And back over to Flowdesk now, I'll just quickly show you how to set up a full page form. And you can't technically connect this into Squarespace, but you can link to it, which is quite a common thing that people do. 
depending on how you have your whole site set up. So again, just start with the form. This time choose full page. Choose whichever template you'd like to start with. Choose your segment. Customize the form however you like. Go through the settings and at the end of this you'll notice that it just says share your form. There's no code, there's literally just a link. So you can easily add this link to anywhere around your Squarespace site as a link so people can click on the link from your site and open up your full page landing page from Flowdesk. This is a really great option if you don't want to mess with code. Maybe you only have the Squarespace personal plan, which doesn't allow for advanced code injections, and you just want to keep things really simple and straightforward, then this is a good option. So once you copy this link, you can come back into your Squarespace site and link from it literally anywhere. So it's just a regular link. You can link it to text by just highlighting and clicking on the link icon and pasting in the URL clicking apply. So that's now a link or you can add it to a button by opening up the button settings and pasting the link into the link section. If you do want it to open in a new window, just click on the cog icon and then choose open in a new window. Click save, save. And now when I click on that button, it should open our new Flowdesk form. And that's essentially it, how to add an inline form, a pop-up form, and link away to a full page Flowdesk form within Squarespace. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.